Good morning. We've got some pleasant sunshine out there. It is 69 in Springfield right now on north winds. Uh, we're looking at temperatures in the 60s, 67 in Rollo, 67 in Fort Leonard Wood, and 68 in Mountain Grove. What you'll notice more, though, is this less humid air mass filling into the Ozarks. It's still pretty humid in northern Arkansas, but going from north to south, we've got more pleasant air coming in. So less humid out there at the pool today, mostly sunny, no storm chances, temperatures in the middle and upper 80s. The Cardinals play again game at Hammonds Field tonight at 710, 83, mostly sunny, home run weather. 86 degrees today, we'll feel like 86 because we won't have that humidity kicking. 64 overnight and pretty pleasant. We'll get temperatures in the middle and upper 80s tomorrow, 87 degrees for that high temperature. That heat index will be pleasant as we head through the day today and tomorrow, warm but not terrible. Temperatures or the heat index, I should say, in the middle and upper 90s by the weekend as we get more humid. We'll get more humid as tropical air gets a little bit closer. Potential tropical cyclone two will likely become buried later on today. Hurricane warnings or watches, I should say, are in effect for the Louisiana coast. Uh, we'll make landfall there this weekend, and then some of those remnants could get close to the Ozarks. So we'll have to track cloud cover, humidity, and a couple of shower chances through early next week. It's your right to know this morning. Two of the four teens involved in vandalism at Lawrence County sites are set to appear in court today for disposition hearings. 17 year old Matthew Levitt and Curtis Board are both being charged with first degree property damage, trespassing in the first degree, and vandalism. Both were involved in vandalizing more than 50 headstones at the Lee Cemetery in Verona over Memorial Day weekend. They are also charged with causing thousands of dollars worth of damage at the Aurora City Pool. Both hearings are scheduled for 9.30 a.m. Last night, a fire broke out in a cove at a lake of the Ozarks Marina. Highway Patrol Troop F reported two boats on the fire were on fire at the village marina inside Jobson Hollow Cove. A viewer sent us the video that you're seeing right now. Still, no injuries have been reported. It's still something that we are trying to keep an eye on. We also have learned that one minor was injured in a boat fire yesterday on Bull Shoals Lake in Ozark County. Riley Stubbs was taken to the hospital with moderate injuries after suffering burns to his body. The Highway Patrol says Stubbs and another person were on the boat near the Twin Forks Resort boat ramp when a fire began in the engine compartment. The fire spread and both occupants left the watercraft and swam to shore. The boat drifted south, burned, and then sank. The second person in the boat was not injured. The choices parents make for their children are often scrutinized by others, and experts label that criticism as parent shaming. One celebrity is sparking debate after performing a common body modification on her daughter. Our Hannah Zettel joins us this morning with the controversy. That's right, Lauren and Joe. Social media creates the perfect setting for parent shaming. The most recent conversation is centered around infant ear piercing. Former Disney Channel star Hillary Duff is facing criticism after posting an Instagram photo of her young daughter with pierced ears. The post sparking a debate on if body modification could be harmful to babies and if that's a decision parents should make before the child can make the choice themselves. We spoke with a Mercy pediatrician who says the tradition is safe for infants as long as the earrings have a backing that locks and stainless steel posts. Dr. Burson also says parents can find this medical grade standard when they leave the pierced to the professionals. Well, now you can go anywhere. You can go to the mall and any place like that is going to use that medical grade quality device. Um, when you get to home piercings, then you get a little bit more risk of infection. You don't have that sterility of the, of the instrument being used. And then also those um, earrings may not necessarily be hypoallergenic. Dr. Burson says it's actually safer to pierce your child's ears sometime before puberty because after that time, children are more prone to develop scar tissue at the site of the piercing. We have some political coverage for you as well. Victims of sexual assault were the focus of hospital staff and law enforcement yesterday. The Attorney General of Missouri, Eric Schmidt, started the Safe Kits initiative back in February in an attempt to tackle the backlog of sexual assault kits in Missouri. Right now, the initiative is in its first step, which is figuring out exactly how many untested kits there are. Last year, there were reports of 5,000 untested kits in the state. However, that number is only about 40% participation from all entities that could respond. And I think the leadership from our office and law enforcement and the hospitals across the state working together is actually going to have that data. And that data is going to be really important for the next phase, which is an inventory for us to track 
for victims to be able to track, uh, and then ultimately lead to the testing and ultimately prosecution. Now, if you're a victim and would like to know more about rape kits anonymously, there's a hotline you can call. Go to our website, OzarksFirst.com, to find it. A bill signed by Governor Parson would help a major manufacturer in the state expand. A business incentive bill aims to, in part, entice General Motors to expand the assembly plant in Wentzville that it has. It also creates a new college scholarship for adults and allows for immediate tax breaks to other businesses that agree to add jobs and expand facilities in the state. A GM spokeswoman says the company is still evaluating all of that. And still continuing our political coverage, this morning State Senator Eric Burleson and State Rep Curtis Trent will hold a press conference regarding the potential signing of Haley's Law. Along with Burleson's Senate Bill 145, Governor Parson is expected to sign House Bill 397. That's known as Simon's Law and deals with reasonable medical judgment for minors. Taking place around the region. Just yesterday, President Trump approved a second major disaster declaration to assist communities in Missouri cleaning up after severe weather all throughout our state. Missouri Senator Josh Hawley says the declaration is a good step. The president has issued a second disaster declaration, uh, which includes additional relief for Missouri communities, Missouri families affected by uh, the terrible flooding, some tornadoes. So that is a good step. Now, I want to emphasize that there are, there are still what are called damage assessments underway, uh, particularly for folks who were hit by the tornadoes there in southwest Missouri and then also in central Missouri and the flooding, which is now widespread all across the state. He stressed there is still much more work to be done. He says this approval will help more Missourians rebuild. Just more local news for you. Some veterans and military members will soon have access to a new treatment program. It aims to help those involved in criminal cases. These people could be sent to the program if their case shows they're struggling with substance abuse or mental health disorders. The new law creates a diversion program in each court district across the state. The program should be up and running before August of 2021. And the Missouri Job Center and American Legion Post 639 will be hosting a veterans job fair today at 2 o'clock, and it will be at the American Legion Post on South Scenic in Springfield. The event is free to all veterans as well as the general public. A vandalized flag in McLean County continues to be the hot discussion topic around town, and that's no different for the county commission. That means this morning at 8.30, the commission will meet to discuss replacing the courthouse flag. As we reported earlier this week, vandals left two tears on both bottom corners of the flag. The suspects have not been found. The old flag is currently with the Lebanon Police Department for evidence. Replacing the flag will cost around $5,000. And once the case is settled, a cremation ceremony will take place for the old flag. We often use Twitter and Google and Facebook to check out our trending topics this time of the show. And actually, a topic that's happening right now is the president tweeted out an hour ago. He is hosting a social media summit today at the, uh, at the Rose Garden, a big subject discussed. I'm reading from President Trump's Twitter account right now uh, at the White House, social media summit will be the tremendous dishonesty, bias, discrimination, and suppression practiced by certain companies. We will not let them get away with it much longer. So that's something that is about to happen right here. So there's going to be a social media summit that's going to have a lot of coverage later on today. Okay, that's happening this morning. Another trend we're following from Google is out of North Carolina, a KFC explosion happened overnight. This is a developing story. Right now we know there were no injuries, but from what I've read so far, it seems as though the employees who were closing down the restaurant narrowly escaped this gas explosion that was felt more than two miles away. So the employees say as they were closing down the restaurant, they smelled gas, left the building to go get some cigarettes and a drink, and that's when the building exploded. So a mm -hmm. very close call there from North Carolina. One last thing, SB winners. They did the ESPYs last night, the sports awards. Oh, yeah. Oh, Patrick yeah. Mahomes, best football player. Really? St. Louis Blues, best comeback. So there you go. Okay, yeah, absolutely best comeback. Very nice. Blues. Of course. We got winners, too. <laughs> We've got Buzz winners. Would you like to do the honors? I'll do feel the like, honors. feel like you've been missing out on this for a while. Oh, okay. Give away the movie Very tickets, Lauren. <laughs> Emily McDaniel, congratulations. She says her favorite movie genre is horror, and Ooh. she <laughs> watches Sorry. her show <laughs> with her husband. But her favorite movie is Clueless. So, girlfriend, I don't, I don't that's quite not get horror. that. That's horror. Yeah, that's such a cute great. movie. Yeah, that's, that is that's a good one. That's fantastic. <laughs> All right, we need one last check of our forecast here with Elisa before we head out today. Um, much less humid out there today. It's going to be a gorgeous summer day. 86 degrees and feeling pretty good. We're looking at things still feeling nice tomorrow and then heat comes back this weekend.
All right, it is summer after all. We'll take that and some sunshine and fog down in Branson. Thanks for waking up with us.